Okay, so I've come to the point in the process where I'm going to be attempting to get the skin back onto the skeleton, clecoed in place, and you know from there I can start riveting uh, the whole thing together. So that's what I'm about to do. I expect it to be a little bit of a struggle. It was a struggle, a big struggle the first time. Uh, I'm hoping it won't be quite as bad. I have, you know, since then I've, I've rounded uh, the nose ribs off a little more. These flanges, you know, right here, they, they tell you to do that, but it's kind of hard to know how much. Uh, so I've, I've, I've done a little more shaping uh, since, you know, the first time I fit the skin on. Um, Plus, it's been on once, so, you know, it's always, well, hopefully it's easier the second time around. Uh, we'll see. I don't think it'll just, you know, go right on, so I'll probably film this in time-lapse, and, uh, you know, I kind of expect there to be a lot of flipping it around, try it this way, try it that way. Uh, I don't remember the secret from last time. I don't think there was a secret. I think it was just a matter of finally forcing it into place. Uh, so, anyway, we'll see how this goes. Uh, and yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. All right, spoiler alert. It does go together a lot more easily the second time around. Now, I'm going to freeze it right here uh, because this may be the secret. So I figured I would try and describe it a little bit and you know, talk about what I did. Unfortunately, I didn't know this was going to work as well as it did. So the camera's facing the wrong, it's looking at the wrong end. But what we did, we held it up like this, aligned the the holes on the nose ribs on the top, you know, in this orientation, the top most leading edge holes in the nose ribs with the skin. I went ahead and put the clecos in those, and then we lowered the whole thing down and let sort of the weight, right like that, let the weight of the skin and the skeleton sort of cam, you know, the, the leading edge of the skeleton into the skin so that without too much trouble, I was able to align the, the three leading edge most holes on the bottom side, you know, the way we had it, and get the clecos in there. And once you've got the clecos on either side of the leading edge of the nose ribs in place, then everything else, you're good to go. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope uh, that really is the secret and it works as well when I go to put the skin on the horizontal stabilizer uh, halves and that it's you know, makes it easy even before the holes have been mash drilled. Um, of course, you know, I'll also have a better feel for, you know, how far to, uh, how much effort to put into shaping the, those tips of the nose ribs and all that. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, I hope that was the trick. And then, yeah, uh, it all goes together really quickly when you have a lovely assistant to hand you the Clicos as you go along. Uh, you know, even it, it goes really fast when you can put it in time lapse and then watch it all sped up. But uh, even at normal speed, of course, this didn't take long at all. Uh, if anybody's been curious why there's that big piece of vinyl missing, it's uh, when the when all the parts come, when the empennage kit comes, it's taped uh, into the crate with the most unbelievably strong duct tape you've ever seen, and uh, that just peeled some off there when I took it out. All right, well, that was easy. That was a lot easier than I was afraid it was going to be. Uh, everything went back together uh, pretty smoothly. You know, after the, the first time I put the skin on the skeleton, it was this struggle. Uh, it was very tight. Same thing I've seen happens to everybody. Uh, it's, it's just really tight, really hard to get it bent around and, and get, you know, these clean goes in. Um, I'm sure because it had already been together once and was match drilled that's why it was easier this time but also as I had mentioned uh, after I got it apart from last time I had come back and, and done some more shaping on these nose rib flanges each of these points and I'm sure that helped too uh, you know the plans sort of tell you to do that uh, but they don't it's hard to know how much and you, you obviously don't want to get too carried away uh, so I had gone back and done more of that uh, and I had sort of tapped out the little dents, the little outward dents that it made as best I could. Couldn't get them completely removed, but eh, got, them, got them a lot better. And I was worried I was just going to put them back when I you 
know, put this thing back together again. That didn't seem to happen at all. You know, if I, if I look just right, I can still see the original um, spots, you know, with the reflection, but when it's painted, you probably never, never see it. And frankly, if that's the worst thing that, you know, happens when I assemble this skin, then I'll be really, really happy. So, uh, yeah. Glad it's back together. Riveting is the next step. So, uh, yeah, that's next.